Hello YouTube and welcome to another video in the series of how to be a pilot. In this video we're going to explore some of the common careers that a helicopter pilot can have. Now that's a little bit of a misnomer because unlike the fixing world where there is, shall we say, um, quite a clearly defined career path if you want to join the airlines for example, speak to a helicopter pilot and their career each will be a little bit different in terms of how they've ended up where they are. So, so into the, the fixing world, there's, if you want to be an airline pilot, there's a bit of a, a common route. So perhaps you'll join a, a, a regional or short haul carrier as a first officer. Then you'll go on to perhaps being a senior first officer, captain, or maybe join a long haul or a national carrier. So it's quite a, a clearly defined uh, sequence of events. However, in the helicopter world, um, each route is a little bit more dynamic. So in this video, I'm gonna generalize a little bit. Um, as, as like I said, there isn't one common uh, career path. However, it should give you a bit of an insight into some of the different opportunities that a helicopter pilot can have as a career. So first of all, um, the flight instructor. It's, uh, it's a very common one. Once you get your commercial pilot license, get a couple more hours and then start as a flight instructor working for a school. Initially, perhaps you might start out doing um, quite a few trial lessons. Um, so that, that's the first, first flight that uh, the pilots go for. And then actually, whilst you don't get a lot of student progression, it is a really good chance for you to get some hands-on flying skills, as you're actually doing most of the flying during that lesson. So it's a great way, once you're, uh, whilst you're still a green pilot, shall we say, to, to, to really build your own flying experience. The flying instruction world actually gives you a huge amount of satisfaction as you watch your student um, learn to fly and eventually pass and as I mentioned before a great way of building your own aeronautical experience as you deal with different weather conditions different abilities uh, and actually working on some quite challenging maneuvers um, keeping current with auto rotations or vortex ring for example almost on a daily basis now another route is the the kind of the charter operation onshore charter uh, in the UK at least that charter season really kicks off from uh, from around March um, through to about October time and during that time well you've got Cheltenham festival that, that usually starts off the season um, as the weather improves um, and there's quite a few of horse racing events motorsport events for example Silverstone or festivals music festivals Glastonbury and whatnot You may also get involved in pleasure flying. Uh, that's another way of, of being in the charter uh, or AOC, Air Operator Certificate Environment, where you're, you're giving quick five, 10, 15 minute buzz flights, shall we say, um, in an aircraft uh, in and out of a common location or sightseeing flights, perhaps up and down the Thames, for example, out of Battersea. Now, moving up to some, some other items. Well, there's the North Sea oil in Europe. The, the North Sea has always been a good source of employment for pilots, both uh, on both sides of the channel. The North Sea in the UK, at least, um, the, the big operators, which used to be Bond CHC in Bristow's, uh, changed a little bit now, Babcock instead of Bond, um, used to run a number of sponsorship programs for ab initio pilots, or indeed pilots with, uh, with green CPLs, commercial pilot licenses, looking to, to move into um, a slightly larger aircraft. And actually, I'm happy to say that Bristow have uh, British helicopters have recently actually run a sponsorship program to take pilots with commercial licenses through their instrument rating and also ab initio. Now the North Sea oil is, is probably the closest that a helicopter pilot um, will find to the airline world where it's quite a, a regimented, you, you have a shift roster um, working uh, out of a base and that progression from first officer, senior first officer, to eventually the captain, the right-hand seat, and also other roles such as training captain um, and the opportunity to kind of join the management team of a large, uh, large company. You'll usually find those uh, offshore roles based up either in Scotland, Aberdeen being uh, the hub, shall I say, of the North Sea helicopter world, or also down the east coast of, uh, of the UK. Norwich, for example, uh, in East Anglia. 
aerial filming we've covered in another of the AB helicopters videos. It's actually one of my favorite um, types of flying to do just because the work you do is so dynamic, uh, so different. E each job is a little bit different. You'll be working closely with a team, uh, with uh, movie uh, production teams or, or TV production teams. And uh, the flying that you do is often, uh, shall we say, a non-standard maneuver. You might often be flying the aircraft out of trim as you track a vehicle or a uh, number of um, Bikes, for example, if you're filming um, a bicycle race, and the work is is different. Uh, you see a different perspective of flying, and you really get to use the helicopter with a camera mounted to the front to the full use of its abilities. Um, my personal favourite is a lot of the air-to-air -air filming that we do, either between two two helicopters or an aircraft and a helicopter, um, for example, and that can make for quite challenging uh, work in terms of the communication between two pilots, between the director, uh, what are the shots they need, how do we position the aircraft and how do you maintain as a pilot your situational awareness. And then you've also got other things chucked into the mix that perhaps as a pilot you weren't even thinking about, lighting for example, or does the director want certain angles of that aircraft to be filmed. And then um, some of the roles that public service roles that a lot of pilots aspire to, um, the, the HEMS, the Helicopter Emergency Medical Service, or the, uh, the police, MPAS uh, in the UK as it's known, uh, role as a, as a pilot. So the HEMS role, um, obviously the, the key objective there is to take the aircraft from a base to pick up a, a patient and then bring, it, uh, bring that patient back to hospital. Uh, well, there's a number of charities in the UK, for example, uh, and often uh, operated by different companies. Uh, a lot of different aircraft are used in the UK for, for HEMS operation. The MD-902 NOTAR aircraft is used in London, for example, and a couple of others. Um, the Augusta Westland 139 or 169 um, is, is also used. Um, you also see Augusta 109s being used in the, the Hems role. So um, quite a varied fleet um, in addition to the long-standing EC135, which has often been the mainstay of the air aeromedical evacuation uh, role. For the police, um, they predominantly used the EC135 in the UK. There are four, I believe, four EC145, slightly larger variation of the aircraft. The police role um, may involve all sorts, from tasking to following uh, criminals in a car chase to perhaps a reconnaissance for, for officers on the ground uh, in support of uh, a planned operation. So the next question, how do you get into it? Well, as I said, um, a lot of pilots go through the flight instruction route. That's a quick way to build hours while still being paid for it. Um, and it, it shows potential employers that you have a little bit of aviation experience. Of course, some pilots get lucky and walk straight from um, their commercial license into a role um, and often will start flying uh, the R20, uh, R44 and the charter environment and then working their way up to perhaps a squirrel, uh, a jet ranger or a long ranger uh, and then eventually onto a twin aircraft, maybe a, a twin squirrel or a 109. So there you have it, a quick whistle stop tour of some of the roles of a helicopter pilot um, that they can perform in their career. Now that's actually one of the, the, the virtues of a helicopter, that it can be used for so many different types of mission. We haven't had a chance to list them all here and now. In fact, we haven't even spoken about the utility market, such as uh, using a helicopter when it's long lining, uh, external loads for construction, uh, for example, or pipeline or power line support where they go along and check uh, pipelines for, for any signs of damage. So there's many, many different roles that a helicopter pilot can take. Um, I hope this has at least um, opened up your mind to some of the those potential roles. And if you have any other questions, then of course, please leave them in the comment section below and we'll either get back to you uh, on the comment or we'll actually create a, a video on the topic if it's a, a large enough subject. Anyway, hope this has helped and don't forget to subscribe and we look forward to the uh, next video.